and welcome to How to Cook Great Food. With thousands of recipes and millions of views, why not subscribe to our channel and join the family? Welcome back once again to howtocookgreatfood.com. If you haven't already, please click that button and subscribe to our channel. On the menu today, and as you can see right here, just a second finish, piping hot. We're going to make a delicious soup with lentils, coconut milk and tomato. Got a few nice spices in there. Got some fennel seeds and some other nice little bits and pieces. Healthy, tasty, vegan, good for you. Let's go and do it. Okay, let's take a look at some of the ingredients we're going to be using today. So here's my lentils. You can use any type of lentil you like. I mean, just there, they're the, they're the uncooked, just washed version. And I've just boiled them for, you know, 15 minutes or so. Give them a nice wash and then I boiled them up for sort of 15 minutes. But yeah, you can use any type, any color that you want. I mean, there's a black dal and there's red and, you know, so many. I'm going with this one today. Tomatoes, uh, fresh tomatoes, just roughly chopped. The whole thing's going to be liquidized anyway. Onions, I'm using red. Again, chunky cut because we're going to cook them down and, like I say, make a nice soup of this. Here I've got my powders. So here I've got one part of chili powder, one part of turmeric, and then three parts of coriander powder. Here I've got some fresh chilies. The amount you put in is entirely up to you. Beautiful little flavor I'm adding today is fennel seeds. So if you can get these, they're really wonderful. I just like them in this this soup. I mean, you could put some cumin seeds in or something like that if you wanted, but I'm gonna go for fennel today. We're gonna to add some coconut milk. Uh, here I've got some garlic ginger paste, which is a, a, a finely mixed blend, 50-50 mix of garlic and ginger. We're gonna start this off with some oil. We're gonna put some water in. That's about it. Maybe a few other bits. Let's go and do it. Okay, so we're gonna need a decent sized pot and a lid, which we'll pop on later on. And then we're going to start off by putting some oil in. Now, I'm actually using some hazelnut oil today just because I'm in love with this stuff at the moment. But you can use anything you want, some olive oil, some sunflower, sesame seed oil. Just go for whatever you like. Really quite simply, as the heat's on and the oil's in there, we're going to get our fennel seeds in. And we're just going to give them a little few seconds to infuse that oil then we're going to go in with our onion our garlic ginger paste now if you wanted you could be putting a few bits of carrots into this or some potatoes if you're going to do that put them in at this stage So we're just going to cook this around just for about sort of two to three minutes. Then we'll move on to the next step. So I've got a lovely smell now of that garlic ginger, those fennel seeds, which I think really work nicely in this. At this point, we're now going to go in with our tomatoes. We can put that fresh chili in at this point and we're going to put our powders in so just a recap on that one part of chili powder I'm using a Kashmiri chili powder today or you could use a KN or some flakes if you wanted uh, one part of turmeric and then two three parts of coriander and again let's just cook this around this time three to four minutes okay at this stage we're now going to introduce our cooked lentils or dal and again let's cook this for two to three minutes getting some of our beautiful flavors onto our dal then we can move on and make this really delicious simple soup At this stage, I'm going to add some salt. We just need some salt to taste. And then I'm going to go in with just some regular cold water. So 
So what I've done there is I've got, you know, I've covered everything plus probably two centimeters, roughly. Let's bring that to a boil, and then just once it reaches that boil, let's turn it down to a simmer so it's got a little rolling boil on it, and we're going to cook that for, you know, maybe sort of 15 to 20 minutes only. I'm going to chuck a lid on that, back soon. Okay, let's jump inside and take a look here. I'm going to let a load of steam out of you guys. That was looking pretty good to me. At this point, I'm now going to add our coconut milk. So in that goes. It's just like a kind of, you know, a cup and a half of that. Now, it's still looking very watery at this point, but we're going to liquidize it and it will thicken up somewhat. It's going to raise the heat a little bit now. I'm going to get a little bit more heat through that. Now I'm going to add here, I've got some cilantro, chopped or coriander, and I've got fresh mint. In they go. Let me grab this bit here, I don't want to waste any. So yeah, any fresh herb, quite frankly, is always good, isn't it? So, But yeah, these two work particularly well in this soup. What we're going to do now is we've just added our coconut milk as you have you seen. So I just want to now get a bit of heat through that. So let's just heat up, get that on for about another four to five minutes. Then we're going to liquidize it. Okay, off goes the heat. That is looking wonderful to me. Right, simply we need to liquidize this. Now I use one of these guys that goes in and we give it a whiz in there really convenient if you haven't got one of these get one they're cheap as chips and they're brilliant uh, or you could use a food processor if you wanted so let me do that I'm just gonna smooth it out just for a couple of minutes then I'll be back okay there you go job done really really happy with that check that for salt you might want to add a bit more salt to it it's gonna be fine for me I know and there we've got it we've got a nice Simple, easy, healthy, tasty, spicy, tomato, lentil, coconut soup. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and we'll see you soon. Lots of love. With thousands of recipes and millions of views, why not subscribe to our channel and join the family?